So in this tech tip video, we're going to talk about the play on our packer. So what you're going to do, there's a couple of places that we're going to look. The first one is on our, on our packer bearings. So we're going to grab down here at the bottom and up here at the top. And we're going to go and move this back and forth. Now, this is on your 4900, 4910s, 4790s, and 4755s. This has all has this older style. And even your New Holland balers are like this. Now, if you come in here and if you have any type of play, then you're going to have to take shims out. Now, there's shims that go right down inside of here. So you're going to come in with a clamp. You're going to hold this. You're going to take your impact gun, undo these bolts, loosen up these two back bolts, and then you're going to pull out a shim, put it back together, tighten these bolts down, these nuts, and it's very important that you use a torque wrench. You're going to torque these down to 50 foot-pounds. Then you're going to go ahead and once you've done that to 50 foot-pounds, you're going to have your dog bone up here undone then you're going to see if you can turn it basically a full turn without a binding then you're going to come back down here and see how much play so you're looking for here how much play you have and then and then can you turn it without without a binding now that's the the binding is the most important thing we do not want it to bind on these older bear balers your crankshaft is going to be war. So you never will get all of this play out of here. Um, you just want to take out as much if you, as you can before it binds on you. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to look up here at these dog bone bearings. You can kind of grab a hold of it and move it back and forth and see if you have any play right here in this bearing. The best way is to undo this bolt right here pull it out and turn it and and see if you have if it's sticky most of the time you're going to find that the that bearing will be sticky and you need to replace it uh to remember something to remember right here on our 20 our 21 2200 series balers there's going to be washers right here on both sides and the same up at the front you're going to want to make sure that you keep track of those washers and put them back the way that you took it apart. So that's how you go about adjusting your packer fingers. So this is on a packer on a 2270 XD baler. And what we're going to, what we're looking for here on our packer is we want to be able to put a pry bar down inside here next to the side of your packer arm and you want to be able to move it and see if you have any side to side play now if you have any side to side play you will need to go in and adjust up your in play if it's accessible in play then you need to go in and change your bearings this is your dog bone bearing right here you're going to need to take this bolt out right here. Remember, you've got shims on both sides, and you're going to need to go in and, and check for play on your dog bone.